that's reaction of the day. You good, man? Listen, intricate back at it. This is a conversation with God. The dialogue. Let's check it out. Check out the impressions, Afronos Blue T. You know I always gotta do that. You need this in blue, black, white, brown, yellow. If you shout out, you shout out. I'm looking for a custom made. Kumi pangira, bala panga, my guys. Call that number right there. And if you're in Dollar City, in need of like your face made up, your hair done. If you're a bala, if you're a kuwa mia wa mia, my tips, my nails shiny. Abby's glam, I got you covered. Morning, my ladies, of Monday morning, I'm going up. But while you're there. Get to Rachel's Bakery. Ndola is a very, like, really small town. So people who live there, do things with a passion. Do things with love. So when Rachel bakes her cakes and cupcakes and just does it for you, ah, it's, it has this homey, homey taste. Same thing with Abby. When she does work for you, it's like she's doing it for a sister. You know, so get to these two places while you're here. Get to impressions and get dripped out like me. Equality through and through. Let's listen to intricate dialogue, a conversation with God. Like the guitar, Spanish. Let's go. Let's go. This is on trend. Sounds like trap. No, 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 Sounds like I can do this to it. Let's Heavenly go. Father, hello be the name, creator uh-huh. of the earth and the heavens, and all of your work is amazing. I'm sorry to question it. I got some issues been praying, but I feel like we're stuck in the slavery. Very let don't like complaining, but I need me some therapy. Sanity bothers me daily, internally making it full of me. Twitch when you talk, I can hear what you're saying. Right Resist the devil. Can I ask me questions instead of your queries? Be hearing your cries and it's really requesting my presence. But you're like in the basics, you're full of complacency. Stuck in the matrix, it's that I'm created to hold you and haunt you to stop you. Ascension corrupted, delusioned, and manipulated. Give you the word as a guy but you throw up now read on me this i don't see the consistency quite the conspiracy theory it's all been a mystery i think that it lacks visibility how could you claim your sovereignty thoughts and your knowledge is infinite look at the history back in the period before the beginning before the creation we spoke to existence why did you stop it we thought that the evil was y'all can begin to imagine the father the power and the glory the harbors inside of me the saying it in half of it i am an infinite infinite doing whatever just pleases me i am unlimited limitless how could you deal with me where did you get the audacity some of Explain to me honestly, how could you question all of your hardship is fine? But of course I had seen that the evil was coming to me, evil's coming. Just look at me, I cannot be trifled with mixing the colors. I don't have a nickel or bubble, can't have a rivalry. Give you a system to run, but you ruined it. Give you a son that I love, you rejected him. Why did you make up this? This is ridiculous. Gave you a brain, but you ain't even using it. All right, I get it, I get it, and stop it. I misunderstood it, I just need the clarity. Sometimes it's all just confusing and tiring. I wish we had guidance a bit more direction, but we left on our own while you're sitting in heaven. Yeah, we just left looking on our own. Okay. It's also amazing to send you a message and all your embrace that you ask for directions. Remember, I gave you the word as a guy, but you tore up the pages. Hmm. Give you the word as a guy. I gotta get the thing off my chest and erase them. I better skip a hinder on my best. You got up and ends. I don't got a chance. I don't think that I can run a race running man hardly. I don't want to break a set. All it is a tax and the ricochet. Trying to figure out if I can maintain my mind is still bothered by the question. I feel a big cage with the matrix and the tactics. And I think it's what I meant, but it's still a good writer. He rhymes well. And please raise me. I don't ever want to end up in Hades, but then again, Lord, if you love me, uh-huh. would you ever want to send me to where hell is? No, and I disagree with the last part, even. Like, hell was meant for the enemy. That's where he dwells. Like, he and his demons, and whoever. I've heard people who have had visions of all these other things. In the demonic or the spiritual realm saying he goes there, comes back and does whatever. He's still roaming the earth, by the way. But where he ends up ultimately is the lake of fire, the second death. If you read the last book, Revelations, that's not where God wants you to go to. 
and i like this conversation you're having on here about feeling neglected and i like that god is also challenging you telling you you're not my servant you don't obey my commands you ripped my book you really don't read the bible and that's the problem that we have accepting christ gives us the knowledge and gives us the holy spirit christ left he's at the right hand of the father but the holy spirit is here glorifying christ so christ in a sense in the spirit is still here but in the physical adia in the body that he left with adia ekala interceding at the right hand of the father but he sent us a comforter the holy spirit so you cannot say you're neglected or you're seated right there in heaven in i have nothing here no no i, I refuse that but all it takes is accepting him in your heart to say be my leader be my savior and that's where you feel that's when you feel the presence that's when you get to cultivate that relationship fam so for me those those questions really are rooted in maybe lack of knowledge or lack of really like submitting or surrender because the only way you're going to accept him to lead your life is by surrender most of us don't want to do that i don't know what's going on but the evil one has this blindfold on all of us it's almost like it's the matrix or something man believe in christ and walk with him and trust me god wants a relationship with you and does not want to send you to hell there's this question if you love me why would you send me to hell separation from god separation like being separated from your maker is what has you end up there and that's your choosing <laughs> if you love me you follow my commands that's jesus if you don't you'll be separated from me because which maker would want their own creation malfunctioning on them or not working in the purpose they made that creation for which maker really think about it wapange chintulelo instead of it following my instructions or following through muri purpose watch pangire chambo kula ya kumbi chambo kula konkera second umbi yo ule shita pretend ukuba create and that's the enemy in this case you would be like okay since you want to be separated from me i gave you free will and I'm a gentleman I really won't force you to come with me but if you won't follow my instructions you won't be where I am it's an insult you know you let your pride deal with you okay there that side with your pride but you won't come here ngafila ba fi ashiba lelanda if you don't follow the rules under this roof hey stay out because I will not be responsible for any of your mess you know but if you wanna be under this roof you will come at 19 hours before we lock up most of us hated that curfew 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 wanted to live on our own only to find out that rent was expensive <laughs> yeah so that's the reality he doesn't hate us but he needs a relationship with us because he made us we can't always be settling for the counterfeit or the lower god of the world who is satan god of the world system with a small g that's an insult to the ultimate creator of everything so that's what i think get christ within your life get him to lead you get into the book that he left us with instructions and really follow the holy spirit there's nothing like it on this earth when it comes to the beat i love the beat the trap and the switches and the spanish guitar its own trend i could listen to this like a few more times because i like the clarity that's on here compared to the fastest rapper in zambia and the only thing with you you stay on beat trust me you write well i read most of the lyrics here you rhyme well too you've got punch lines you think your content is rich 
but the enunciation and the pronunciation of these things are just you slang too much and you rap like you're rapping from the nose so i'd need you to rap from the diaphragm like bring your words out with more oomph and more power and more clarity and more punch more finesse like more smooth delivery in terms of just how you enunciate and be clear with the words you know it's sungu cha kulande cha kulandira mato bono kumina mina ma words yale fumina mona if i did that right now you would not love my reactions so be sure to pay attention to detail when it comes to pronunciation of words and delivery just like you pay attention to this beat selection that's actually good and pay attention to your artwork man you can't use artwork in more in for three songs that i've already reacted to on this platform that's also part of being an artist being a good marketer just like you have to be a good communicator by enunciating and clearly rapping you also have to be a good marketer good beat selector good communicator as a rap artist let me know what you think of this conversation with god the dialogue from intricate is he good is he not is he on his way or do we have to wait <laughs>